Hello! Early summer gives us a tempting taste of what's to come in the fruit garden. Trees like this apple here are already laden with young fruits, which will grow on to give a delicious crop later on in the growing season. But if we're to get the most from this bounty, we'll in fact need to remove some of these fruits now. It sounds counterintuitive, but there is logic behind this apparent madness, I promise. So here's why we do it. Selectively removing young fruits is called thinning. Many tree fruits, including apples and pears, naturally thin their fruits in early summer during the so-called June drop. But thinning further can help trees to stay in good shape and produce a more useful crop. Additional thinning of tree fruits ensures there's less chance of fruits rubbing together, which can lead to diseases like rot. It also stops trees from cropping heavily one year, only to produce very few fruits the next, a phenomenon known as biennial bearing. Some fruits, particularly plums, can become exceptionally heavy if they aren't thinned, leading branches to strain and even snap under the weight. The main benefit of thinning to the gardener is to give those fruits that remain the space they need to grow into bigger, healthier fruits. The fruits left to grow on will enjoy more airflow, sunlight and energy from the tree for even ripening. Fewer, bigger fruits are generally more useful than many tiny fruits. So let's show you how to thin an apple tree. I'm using a pair of pruners for the job, but if the fruits are quite close together, you may find it easier to use a pair of scissors. Apples generally produce clusters of between two to six fruits. We need to thin them to just one or two fruits per cluster. Start by cutting away any misshapen, damaged or scarred fruits. This usually includes the odd-shaped king fruit at the centre of the cluster. Now remove the smallest fruits and any that are awkwardly positioned. Finally, continue thinning until the fruits are evenly spaced, leaving only the biggest and healthiest. The aim is to leave around 4 to 6 inches, that's 10 to 15 centimetres, between individual apples of eating varieties. For larger cooking types, you're looking for around 6 to 9 inches, that's 15 to 23 centimetres, between each fruit. Pears need less thinning than apples, but will still benefit from having young fruits thinned out to give consistent harvests. Thin fruit clusters to two fruits, so there's around 4 to 6 inches, that's 10 to 15 centimetres, between fruits. Plums are notorious for overproducing, with often disastrous results. Their smaller fruitlets may be thinned using just your thumb and finger to detach the surplus. Aim to leave one fruit every couple of inches, or 5 to 8 centimetres, or if it's easier, one pair of plums every 6 inches, or 15 centimetres. Thin peaches in stages, to one fruit every 4 inches or 10 centimetres once they reach the size of a hazelnut, then again at golf ball size to their final spacing of 8 to 10 inches or 20 to 25 centimetres. Nectarines should be thinned once, to 6 inches or 15 centimetres apart. Thinning may seem at odds with your desire for lots of fruits, but I can assure you it will lead to better harvests, and your trees will produce more consistently because of it. If you thin lots of fruit trees and can offer any further tips or insight, please do so in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to us today, so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. I'll catch you next time.